Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> well, what a start to this session. 20 minutes angling, and we've got an awesome looking 20 pounder on the bank. Such a quick bite, I wasn't expecting anything to happen that quickly. Hi guys, so today I have come to East Elf Lakes near Peterborough and it's a, a complex I'm very familiar with. There's three lakes here. You've got the Long Lake, the Back Lake and the Front Lake. Although the Front Lake is one that I've only ever fished once in the past and that's where I've come today. So it's not a lake I'm too familiar with and I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. It's something a little bit different for me. So I'm going to have a lap of the lake, try and find a fish or two and hopefully build up an idea of where I want to be fishing for the session ahead. Well, I've had a walk around and I've settled on this corner swim. When I walked into this swim, there was lots of fish fizzing down the margin to the right there. There's a fish fizzing right now out in, in open water. So yeah, it looks like, a, looks like a good area. So I've got my house set up already. The rods are pretty much ready to go. I want to put some fresh rigs on those. I want to prepare a little bit of bait. Let me just and stop then, you there, Mark. What was wrong with that? Don't worry about the bait for this session. We're going to sort it, okay? So oh, okay. I've got here a bucket of bait for you. Everything you need's in there. Oh, okay, goodies. So I have got a kilo bag of Pacific Tuna Shelf Life boilies. I have got some Pacific Tuna pellets. How much have we got there? A couple of kilo pellets there. Two kilo pellet, Pacific Tuna pellet there. I have got a pot of Pacific Tuna airball pop-ups and some Pacific Tuna bait booster too. So yeah pretty much everything I need for the 24 hour session ahead of me. Right, okay, well that saved me prepping any bait, hasn't it? So that's easy done. Right, let's get some rigs tied, some baits on and get started. So I've just tied up a really simple blowback rig and I've tied it using 25 pound Camatex Soft for the hook link. That goes down to a size four wide gape beaked X hook, the X meaning extra strong and extra sharp. I've got quite a long length of shrink tube over the eye of the hook there to help the hook turn and improve the hooking properties. I've got a rig ring tied there, level with the barb to create the blowback effect and the hook base is just half a Pacific Tuna boilie topped off with half a Pacific Tuna airball pop-up to create a really slow sinking wafter hook bait. Really, really simple rig, one that's caught me loads of fish over the years. But all I need to do now before it's ready to cast in the lake is to shrink the shrink tube over the eye. So to start this session, I'm just fishing with single hook baits, not introducing any free bait at all. Right now, there's quite a few fish fizzing in front of me. So if I was to start catapulting bait or spotting, anything like that, it's only gonna spook fish out the area. So I'm just having one cast to where the fish are fizzing. And what I'm doing to increase the attraction around the hook bait is just dipping it in the Pacific Tuna liquid booster. That's 
what I'm going to do right now. It's just a case of dipping the hook bait in there, really crank up the food signals, crank up the attraction. That way there's no need to introduce any background feed. I mean, there's no need anyway, the fish are already here and feeding. But hopefully this will just draw their attention a little bit more towards the hook bait itself. That was okay, wasn't it? Right, I'll have a brew. To get your cup, I'll make you one too, if you're lucky. If you're not lucky, you won't get one. Depends how lucky you are, really. Are you feeling lucky? Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> that rod's been in the water. 20 minutes. And a single hook bait cast towards where the fish were fizzing. I've been just smacked against a rod and we are playing our first fish of the session. I just need to go over here, get the line down. It's getting around these branches here. Shouldn't cause us any major problems, I don't think. It's just coming in nice and easy now. Had a bit of a mad dash towards that, that bush over there. Oh, here he comes. Let's get down here. Bit of a tight little swim. Here he goes. You beat. You beat. Get in that net. Oh, yes. That is a great start. That will do. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, lovely scaly fish there. Brilliant start to the session. Well, what a start to this session. 20 minutes angling, and we've got an awesome looking 20 pounder on the bank. <laughs> Hopefully this is just a start of things to come. In fact, while I was playing this fish, there was still fish out in front of me, fizzing away, feeding like mad. So I'm gonna waste no time. I'm gonna slip him back, get the rod back out there. I'm being a bit greedy, but I really want another one. So I've just come around to the margin that I'm casting towards and I'm fishing in between these two, these two bushes here. And I've just come around to bait up by hand. Obviously it means a lot less disturbance than if I was to start spotting bait over here. And I'm just going to bait up with a few handfuls of pellets and also some of the Pacific tuna boilies which I've coated in the liquid booster. So yeah, I'm just going to introduce it now.
Well, both rods are set for the night ahead and it's only about 20 minutes, half an hour before, before dusk. Um, I didn't get the rods in the water until late on this afternoon. And now I've got one positioned over towards this right hand margin in between two bushes. And I walked around on that bank and I scattered in some, uh, some pellets and also a few boilies as well. Then the left hand rod that's fished more out into open water and I've sort of scattered uh, just a light scattering of boilies just around that rod. Um, since the light levels have started to drop, so has the feeding activity. I've not really seen any signs of anything fizzing or anything feeding, but uh, hopefully things will pick up. And uh, with a bit of luck, by the morning, we'll have a uh, nice fat carp on the bank. Well, good morning. Nothing has happened since that last fish. The night was pretty uneventful, apart from a trailer, um, a fish trailing line. Someone's obviously been either snapped or, or cut off by a fish. That fish is pulling line behind it, and it managed to wipe out my rods about five times in the night. Um, yeah, I literally, the rigs were getting dragged around. I'd get them back out there within half an hour. They were getting dragged around again, so. Yeah, that was pretty frustrating, but it hasn't happened for quite a while. So hopefully the fish has now been able to uh, get rid of get rid of the rig. It's no longer pulling any line behind it. But um, it's been pretty quiet this morning. Not really seen a great deal up until about five, 10 minutes ago. And there's been quite a lot of fizzing happening over my right hand rod where I put the, the pellets. And um, there's also been a few patches of bubbles coming up sort of out in open water. Not, nothing exactly where my left hand rod is, but it's certainly looking like the fish are now starting to feed. So fingers crossed, something happens this morning. Well, that trailer has just gone through my line yet again. I think I'm managing about 20 minutes before one of the rods gets wiped out and I'm having to recast. But this time, I have relieved the fish of the rig and the line that it was trailing. So that's, that's good. It's good for the fish and it's good for me. <laughs> Well, all that fizzing that started in, in the swim in the corner stopped pretty much as quick as it started. And that had been on my mind, whether it, the fish were going to be feeding this morning. So I did have a little bit of a backup plan. And last night I put in a little bit of bait underneath this overhanging tree on the other corner of the lake. And um, I just reeled in the rods, had a walk down here. And I noticed there was a few bubbles coming up and a little swirl on the surface. But there's definitely fish under here. So I've got a rig ready to go. I'm just gonna lower this in place now as quietly as I can.
Well, there's been virtually nothing fizzing out in open water, no signs of anything feeding. But where they do seem quite happy to feed is in the edge. I, I baited up a few spots along the margins underneath the trees and um, they've been quite happy to feed away down there. I just lowered in a rig uh, five minutes ago <laughs> underneath this tree down here and it ripped off while they're straight away. Such a quick bite, I wasn't expecting anything to happen that quickly. That 20 pounder I caught 20 minutes after casting out seems like a long time ago now. Haven't had any any action whatsoever apart from the the trailer which has been uh, pretty relentless. Yes, got him. Well, after getting off to such a fantastic start yesterday, I thought this session was going to be plain sailing, but it hasn't been the case at all. It's been pretty hard work. The fish just haven't been feeding in that corner where I am in the open water spots um, so it's taken a little bit of figuring out but um, after baiting some spots in the margins underneath the overhanging trees it was quite obvious that the fish were happy to feed there within just five ten minutes of putting in some tuna pellet you could see they were fizzing away and uh, after lowering a rig in place it only took five minutes and we've got this nice linear of hmm, getting on for 20 pounds, somewhere like that. But you can, uh, you can see he's definitely been enjoying the pellet because he's been crapping them out all over. He's a proper pellet muncher, this one. But um, as this session is nearing a close, I want to get this fella back and try and get another one on the bank before my time is up. Well, I thought I was onto a good thing with baiting the margins, with pellets, and seeing how quickly those fish got on the pellets and watching them fizz up in the spots. We got that bite really quickly as well. I thought it was just gonna continue through the day, but that wasn't the case at all. No sooner did all that feeding start when it just stopped again. And that does seem to have been the case during this session. It's been very brief windows of opportunity, very brief feeding spells. But we've still caught two fish, so I'm not going home disappointed. We had that beautiful, scaly 20 pounder. Um, and then today we've had a, a fish approaching 20 pound as well. So yeah, I'm certainly not disappointed with that result. I would have liked more. I always want more, but um, it is time for me now to call it a day. I've got to hit the road, make my way back home to Middlesbrough, and I'll see you guys again next time.